at Holyoke Community College, we offer two exciting opportunities designed for students who are interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. These two programs are the STEM Starter Academy and the National Science Foundation STEM Scholarship Program. Both programs are intended to recruit and retain talented STEM students from diverse backgrounds and help them achieve their goal of entering a STEM-related career. The STEM Starter Academy, also known as the SSA, covers the cost of some STEM classes, offers peer mentoring and career advising, and provides a series of speakers and field trips to help SSA students obtain a comprehensive understanding of STEM disciplines and industries. This program is funded by a grant from the Department of Higher Education. The NSF STEM Scholars Program is funded by the prestigious National Science Foundation. It is a competitive program which offers scholarships to students in STEM and provides rigorous interdisciplinary exploration of STEM disciplines. Students who enter the program are known as STEM Scholars and may receive as much as $5,200 per year in scholarships. Students in this program come from all areas of STEM and are very diverse. STEM Scholars attend special seminars and work as STEM ambassadors either by volunteering as mentors or by doing outreach or community service. There are also opportunities for internships and introductions to guest speakers to help students make connections with transfer schools and industry leaders. The programs support each other in natural ways. For example, students can get a head start in the summer by taking a free course through the SSA and apply for the NSF STEM Scholars Program and then later as a scholar they can either mentor SSA SSA students as part of a community service project or they can work for the SSA. These two programs are designed to help students who may not otherwise see themselves as future scientists to begin to envision themselves as such. Students who have successfully completed these programs have gone on to complete degrees in STEM disciplines. Many of these students are already working in STEM-related industries as they continue their studies. The NSF STEM Scholars Program and STEM Starter Academy have created a collaborative and supportive community of students and leaders in STEM. We know you'll enjoy hearing their stories. My name is Keisha Cabrera. I started at HCC uh, 2015, right out of Holyoke High School. I became part of NSF when it started, which was also at 2015. Uh, my major is chemistry. I graduated class of 17 from here. I was able to get a mass transfer to UMass. So I was at UMass Amherst for a semester, and then I transferred to Elms College, where I graduated class of 19 with my bachelor's in chemistry as well. When we started mentoring, I believe that was around my second year there. I thought it was really good. Like I got a pretty chill mentee. Like even till today we still talk outside of school. So I think that was like a really good thing cuz you made connections with other people who are in STEM that like probably aren't as represented as much because that's basically what NSF is. Being a STEM scholar slash NSF scholar um, has really opened up a lot of opportunities as far as meeting new people, finding new experiences. Like, I've been able to find internship opportunities, I've been able to connect with people even if it's just to like visit a plant that they're working at or to be in a lab even if it's just for a day, as well as meeting other people. I got into science from my sixth grade science professor. She also happens to be Hispanic which was like to me a big deal because like all my teachers previous before that weren't teachers of color so like and they were male so like to see a woman as like a stem teacher or just to see a woman in a stem field is like a really big thing to see someone of color who is also a woman in that field it's just like wow like you were able to make it and you're like kind of like me so like that kind of like gives me a sense of belonging like maybe I can do this. The more representation we have for STEM the bigger the community can get. Being part of this STEM community has impacted me a lot. It was more like a family than like just a group of students so to speak. My name's Bill Pennington. Um, I'm a civil engineering major. I got involved um, with the scholarship uh, because school's expensive um, and uh, you know, I look for any sort of funding I can find. It was, it was work, but uh, I didn't really find it to be a chore and I did find it worthwhile overall. Um, 
and it, it really did help me uh, build community um, with my peers um, and the, the professors that were involved and even professors that aren't involved. It, it has a, a, a level of cachet on campus that um, sort of uh, garners some respect um, and, and opens up other opportunities as well. It just makes it possible being an adult student. Um, it's daunting and intimidating to just not have income for a period of time. The money from the scholarship is huge and I think it enables a lot of people to go down this path um, that might not be able to at all otherwise. It really does create a community where, you know, if, if you're intimidated about going to college or coming back to school, as I was, um, you've already got a network of people there that are invested in your success. Being supported in that way is huge and, and very, very meaningful. My name is Noah Paradise Burnett. I am a 2017 graduate of Holyoke Community College with a degree in Engineering Studies and currently I am pursuing my Bachelor's of Science for Mechanical Engineering at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. The experience overall for me really gave me a look into how really how important my field was. It helped me to sort of accelerate my academic journey. So instead of having to take these classes during like either the fall or the spring semester and just piling all those courses on top of one, it sort of gave me a chance to breathe, really take in the material. And now that I'm at UMass, it really helped to cut down on the number of courses that I actually need to take so that I can focus more on what it is that I want to do. For me, the thing about the STEM scholars that's st really connected with me is the sense of community that I don't think you really get at other institutions with the STEM program. Because um, I feel like in those programs, you're part of a you know, just a set of students all pursuing the same major, but with a program like the STEM Scholars, you really connect with the, and not just those in your specific discipline, but all across different STEM disciplines. And I feel like that connection really helped me to, you know, sort of discover my own identity within STEM. Like I'm not just a face among many just pursuing a major, I'm actually an individual with specific interests, with specific goals, and I feel like that sense of community really helped to shape that. My name is Michelle Rain. Um, I am an HTC alum, also an NSF Scholar alum. I graduated Holyoke Community College in 2017 um, in mechanical engineering. I worked for STEM Starter Academy uh, for probably three years. Most of the time that I was here at HCC, um, I did a lot of collaboration in the beginning between NSF Scholars and STEM Starter Academy students. Um, we set up workshops where we did mentoring programs where students could learn about like um, being successful, the resources that HCC has to offer. STEM Starter Academy, we started this group, Pioneer Valley Women in STEM. Uh, so we hosted a lot of events that helped women find resources um, to help them be successful with their STEM degree choices. I was the first student to complete all uh, developmental courses in one semester. I became an NSF scholar and when I became an NSF scholar and I started helping that program, I got introduced to the STEM Starter Academy and there was like this really organic relationship being built between STEM Starter Academy students and NSF students because it was like 
entry level students coming in, first semester college students coming in, and we were like guiding them through this path into becoming STEM scholars. I consider myself to be like an advocate for women and minorities in STEM, so I always said I was a STEM ambassador. And so um, coming from NSF, mentoring was really important, and so I felt like I really found my place like being a part of STEM Starter Academy and kind of like helping create these mentoring roles and like continue this organic relationship between them. When I switched into this major um, and started NSF, it was like this community erupted around me. It was like my second family. Like everybody relied on everybody. Uh, you know, there was support everywhere I went, you know, um, and even advisors and the teachers, like I have never, <laughs> they are literally my second family. They have done so much for me and, and I feel like I owe a lot of my success and like where I am now to NSF and to HEC in general. <laughs>